to try a selection of history's most famous meals. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're here to try what now? <laughs> Trying to give you an reaction to why you don't wow. have a clue what that could even mean. That's like the vaguest video ever. Like loads of food from the history of time. Yeah. Like isn't any food that we're gonna eat like technically from the history of time? History's most famous meal. When you say history, do you mean like in Ireland or, or the world? world or like the world. World in history. fantasy? The world. Okay, so okay. I know what this is. It's bread. It's bread. Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> is this cider? Is it apple juice? Okay, bread and beer? Bread and beer. Germany. Right. Is it Germany? <laughs> I mean, that's a good guess. It is a good guess. What makes that... So what, 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 is, what historical effect is this referring to? This is kind of like pre-drinks for me. It's like, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have a drink, but I'm also gonna eat bread because I need soul kitsch. I do that too. What period do you think this is from? The, now it could the be the Stone time. Age. I don't know. Um, the, when the, oh, it's, it's fresh it's bread. Holy bread, yeah. shit! I thought of like Egyptians because they like made bread out of like just flour and water and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But then I saw the beer and I don't know now. Standard meal in ancient Egypt. Oh my god, obsessed! I love like when I say I don't know anything about history, I know more about ancient Egypt than I do about like the 1960 rising. <laughs> ancient Egyptian meal. No way! Damn, girl, you're good. <laughs> I really want to bite into this. It's nice and warm, yeah. Oh, do we dunk or do we just... I think you need it separately. You can dunk <laughs> if you want, but I don't know. I don't think that's how the Egyptians do. Nothing quite like bread with nothing added to it. Just bread. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. These are basic dietary items which are consumed every day with every meal of the day. Oh. Every meal. They, they knew what they were doing. I absolutely Didn't hate they? it. Didn't they? I absolutely hate it. Yeah, I can picture mm. this. We're eating like pharaohs. Mm -hmm. You can really taste the soggy bottom though, can't that, you? That is a, a gummy bread. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've bitten into a Wellington right now. <laughs> I would never order a beer, but I mean, if someone's gonna put one in front of me with a bread roll. I mean, I'll eat it for the sake, I'll drink it for the sake of the video, but I'm just not a beer fan. A few grapes now, a bit of fanning. Mm. That would go great, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a weird combination. I don't know why it's a weird combination. I've eaten bread with beer before. Mm. I just don't get why people would go to a bar and order a beer. I know. Because I'm like, there's way better tasting drinks behind Absolutely. that bar. Absolutely, and stronger ones. Yeah. That's the point. But the bread is fabulous. It's mm. so good. Heavy enough meal though, isn't it? Mm. Starchy beer, starchy bread. The, bread. the bread needs something. Do the Egyptians dip the bread in the beer? They, I can't confirm if they do or not, but if you want to, I mean, surely we can check that, right? Yeah, I don't, I think yeah, it's, I mean, why beer not? is just bread. It's, it's all gonna end up the same anyway, isn't it? Oh. That was a horrible experience. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> I don't like my bread fizzy. <laughs> oh. oh, hello. Ooh, steak, mushrooms, and pepper sauce. I yeah. love a mushroom. Happy days. I love a mushroom. I um, love the steaks. My death row meal. Oh, I didn't realize that uh, that my favorite meal was the most famous <laughs> thing in the world. That's great. I was thinking we would definitely get some meat heavy things considering that was oh, like staple diets of people. It smells so good. It does smell so good. This is like what you get in a fancy five star restaurant. No wonder you took like 15 minutes to prepare it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have my proper wine. This oh, this is perfect. perfect. No, this is like a, a oh fish bowl. Oh my god, I feel like we're at a fancy oh, restaurant. This is the nicest dinner I've ever had. I'm so happy. This is lovely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sean, uh, can you ask us what our favorite one was now? Um, Do you like this sauce? is. I love pepper sauce. I can't get enough. Oh we god. were both talking about like our favorite meals, and you were saying that you were like, I'm a basic gal. I just love a steak. Oh my god. This is. So I'm so good. happy with wine. Straight in with the wine, by the way. So, yeah. Oh, this is. Uh, uh, so don't even care, Sean. Don't even care uh, about this. It's got a pink inside too, just how I like it. Exactly. Yeah. So when do we reckon this is from, buddy? Um, well, when would you reckon they invented pepper sauce? Abraham Lincoln's inauguration. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. But like, it's the standard Friday night meal. Yeah, literally. Lincoln. Oh, wow. You might, This is. This is. I've always said this oh. is the best thing that Lincoln ever did. 100%. Oh my God. Hmm. I thought we were doing like 
historical times. I didn't realize it was historical events. I like it, like I like it's arse licked with the pan and nothing more. So I can already tell, I get that you have to do the more in here because you don't want to kill us. Yeah, totally. But I want mine quivering on the plate in yeah. front of me. I'm like, I, do, I don't know what to do first. I, I'm so, I'm so I think eat the steak <laughs> and then swallow it down with the wine. Mm. Four score and seven years ago. 1865. <laughs> Ah, mmm, mmm. It's really good. That's delicious. It's so nice. What else on the menu? There was oyster stews, terrapin, oysters. Are they little turtles? Mmm. They ate them. You should have served us terrapin. That would have been so much more interesting. The floor of the supper room was soon sticky, pasty, and oily with wasted confections, mashed cake, and debris of fowl and meat. Beautiful. I don't remember Daniel Day Lewis doing any of that. <laughs> Does this feel like a historic meal? 100%. Yeah, it does. It feels like it feels like um, something my mom would cook in the nineties. I mean, who doesn't love bread? In fairness, but steak. I'm a steak man. Yeah. Love my steak. I love. And this is very well done. I don't know if I came across this way, but it, I think we may have scoffed at you when you uh, when you told us the title of this video. <laughs> um, uh, I take that back. I take the scoff back. Celery and pate. Interesting. Is that pate? I feel like we've gone downhill. Oh, you were going so well. Celery and foie gras. Foie gras. Oh, that's a very problematic thing to be eating. <laughs> that's, I don't agree with this. It's, it's not actually foie gras, it's pate. Okay, good, oh my God. Do you want me to tell you what foie gras is? Go on, go on. Foie gras Indulge is, me. it's quite an expensive dish. It's goose. <laughs> it's pate made from the liver of a goose that's been force fed until it gets really fat and the liver gets really fatty and then they make that. Oh, that's no. the cruelest shit ever. That's horrible. Yeah. I would like people to know that this is not foie gras because we will be absolutely obliterated if we did. It was the ninth course of the final meal from the Titanic. Oh. 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 Before everything went downhill. Oh, okay. No way. <gasps> oh, I fucking love the Titanic. It's like one of my favorite films. Oh my God. Yeah, I, 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 know, I used to know the whole history of Titanic. I, I totally you? have it all in the back of my mind. It's the ninth? Yeah, and this, this, is one, this, is, this is the one we get. The seventh course <laughs> is roast squab and cress. Could have had roast squab. What the hell is squab? No idea, but it's probably better than this. Christ. Oh, imagine you'd be so full and then the ship and starts then, sinking. Well, You're they, like, yeah, they say you don't go into the water. With, with, the full yeah, stomach. With full stomach. No wonder they all You're sank. Getting... <laughs> God love them. Let's do it. Not too bad. I expect it to be, to be worse. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, that's not good pate. Do you know what? Mm. It's lovely. I had pate when I was a little kid. It's not something I'd buy in the regular. No, same. Yeah. It's good celery. Mm. Like the celery in me, to, to me doesn't taste of anything, but this celery is overpowering the taste of the full Yeah. Bread. The thing with pate is it feels very processed. It is, yeah. It's full of salsa, I'd say. I'd go with the violinist. Go with the violin, Royce. <laughs> yeah. Stick around. Stick around, listen to a tune. Mm -hmm. It feels so satisfying to eat. You're giving such um, ASMR vibes. Can I crunch it into the microphone? That was good, wasn't it? I got shivers up my back there. Oh, really? I was on the first class of the Titanic and I was served this, I'd be like, mm, yeah, that and makes it's small, sense. So as your ninth dish, this is number nine. You're, you're exactly. Full, you're you know? gonna be. You're gonna be pretty full. If this was the first, maybe the second thing we had, we would have been a bit more oh, understandable. Yeah. I mean, you're following fucking medium rare steak with celery sake. sticks. If you had done bread and then this, I'd be like, oh yeah. I'm <laughs> okay. Now this genuinely, I love a meal of like picky bits. Foods that do not go together at all. Very confused. Sean, uh, you've given us three separate ones uh, by mistake. <laughs> oh, there's more, there's more. Oh. Oh. Is this a cider? Ooh. Pineapple? Mead? Rodal, uh, James and the Giant Peach, and also, uh, what's it called? Uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox, what's going on here? This was the first meal on the moon. What? This is the first they had on the on the moon. What? No. And here was me going way back in time. Why? So they built a spaceship. They sent him to the moon, and that's all they could rustle up. Shitty biscuits. It's like they got on the ship and they're like, "Fuck." <laughs> <laughs> we forgot the food. Yeah. How did uh, Buzz Aldrin eat this when he was on that sound stage? I mean, on the moon. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. So this is what the lads brought with them when they did their little so, fake moon so. landing. <laughs> what it was, uh, Back, all the way to the TV studio. Yeah. Let's give them some fiber. Let's give them some fat, and let's give them a, a, a little bakey, a little treat <laughs> with their tea. I really don't know where to begin. Yeah. Are you going to put these together, or just a bit of bacon? A bit of bacon. Bacon's really good. 
Mm. I like that you got the streaky American bacon. It's actually three courses. Yes. Start our main and dessert. That bacon is... It's really good. 15 out of 10. Yeah, I will say I do prefer the American side of bacon. I, I prefer the salty crunchiness of them. Interesting. Yeah. If you were going to the moon, what would you eat? I'd like to bring some cheese because I think the moon looks like cheese. Rose Aldrin described the meal he ate on the mission as delicious. Mmm. Mm. This is like an apple. I don't think this was ready. There was something wrong with Buzz. <laughs> That is the most bland nectarine I've ever had. Yeah, I don't want the, the, I, that. That is a yeah, shit. That is a shit fruit. That, this is when kids say they don't like fruit. This is what they're this, talking about. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing to that's this. Ridiculous. Better than the foie gras. Not as good as the steak. Mm -hmm. And not as good as the beer. Exactly. Yeah. Not as good as the beer and the bread. Could you much try to cut a steak in space? <laughs> the, the least you'd be worried about is what you're having for your dinner. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'd just be worried about getting home. I know. That would be my biggest fear up in the moon. I'm mean, not great about heights though. I feel bad for everyone in the space right now. Yeah, they were fucked. <laughs> they got royally screwed. I like the steak. I was gonna say, the, yeah, the, the best. Steak the steak was the best. Just it felt like the most decadent, it felt the most tastiest. It was it was a good hearty meal, you know? I feel like we've traveled through time. I do too. I feel so cult I feel so like um educated. I learned loads of useless shit there. Mm, Did you? That's true. Yeah. That I'm never gonna use again, but I will find a way of using it. I think there's a reason. People can't name history's famous meals. Because. <laughs> By people, you mean us two. Us two, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure we're the only one. Thanks so much for watching. You can like and subscribe below. We upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and you can see lots of videos of us trying lots of other food somewhere on the screen that we playlist. Anything else? No, that's it. Okay, Perfect. great.